his labor okay. productivity we counterpart. Are back okay. live again. Senator Chris Ngige. So as a matter of urgency, honorably resign for failing to meet up as to uh, demand to fail uh, for failing to end the continuous strike for the past seven months. It speaks volume about the fact that they are not only like a bicycle, they are equally not challenged and it's a testimony with the Lagos development in Nigeria. They have remained in charge in their process. We can see them in their numbers. But time, uh, but previously, Nigerian students were always at the front burner. We were always stopping all academic fora globally. But now, because of the continuous ASU strike, which has lingered for seven months and counting, we are unable to tackle our colleagues intellectually, academically, when it comes to issues of academic discourse. And that is affecting us as progressive inclined Nigerian youth, Nigerian students, who are actually hoping for a better and prosperous future. So to this, we are appealing to all our parents, our fathers, our mothers, our colleagues to join their voices in saying enough is enough. To join us in saying end as to strike now. No. And that remains our demand and that alone remains our demand. So to this, to the world, to our fellow Nigerians who have actually been condemning our activities since last week, saying we are holding the masses to ransom by shutting down the Lagos Ibadu Expressway your Rebini Expressway, the Dogo Expressway. We want to say we are very sorry. This is not meant to actually uh, suffer anybody. Rather, it is actually meant at further pressing home our demand. And indeed, we believe their relatives, their political party members will actually be affected in one way or the other. We see no reason why leaders who have so much money to buy 100 million naira form and 40 million naira form respectively have no money to pay Nigerian lecturers. That's the one who that they want a question to die in Nigeria. And that's what we're looking for. Aluta continue. Viva! Asana! Well done, boy. God bless you, brother. We're waiting for our colleagues. The other route has actually been open. We want them to get here. As soon as they get here in the next five minutes or thereabouts, Open everywhere for everybody to So that is it, you have it. Since 8 o'clock, any moment from now, the entire road will be opened. You just heard now the Ushu Dui entrance into the international airport has been opened. And any moment from now, this Ikeja entrance to the airport will be opened. I think it's worthy of uh, note that the students, the protesters, uh, did open the road for an ambulance that was trying to pass through, despite the fact that it was a military ambulance. Uh, also, uh, individuals who are riders are uh, not, uh, I mean, even those who are even carrying passengers were allowed to pass through. Uh, those who are going about uh, trying to deliver delivery bikes were equally allowed to pass through. Uh, only persons who are in their cars are trying to catch a flight, uh, be you a pilot, be you a crew member, if you are not going to walk, you are not going to step out of your cars, you have had, you have to stay in traffic. This particular fan car that you can see afar off has been in that particular position for well over three hours. You can see military officers on the bike moving through, they are allowed to pass, you can see that man on the bike as well, probably are trying to catch his flight. Uh, indeed, these protesters have been under the sun and in the rain for well over seven hours here. Uh, we have also been here under the rain and in the sun and more of rain this time around for well over six, seven hours uh, with uh, trying to give you the very best of reporters from this axis and like that particular coverage said uh, that the International Express to the Osho the axis have been opened and they will be coming here in convoy to open this route that has been closed for hours. Uh, the Lagos State Traffic Management Agency released a statement some hours ago uh, talking about the fact that the, uh, the, the traffic, uh, not just in this part of the Lagos, but in many other parts because of course as you know Lagos has a very small landmass and in one traffic, uh, major traffic in one part who spread to other parts. I was a result of the NANS uh, 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 protest. And also, uh, various airlines have come out to give reasons why flights schedule have not gone on as, as advertised. So, 
it is not just big like they planned it is massive and they've said it will continue tomorrow not in this particular location it elsewhere continue tomorrow uh, tomorrow uh it will go on uh, according to them they will stop until the federal government and ask you with the truth and something important is done to bring the students back to class okay you just heard the voice of shagun do i will give you a summary of everything that has happened here since morning one thing of note is bike men are been trying to convey people to either the local airports or international airport charging as much as two thousand naira three thousand naira to the international airport why cat pushers have been a people people carry their load charging as much as one thousand naira well there you have it yeah also cars who were trying to turn back from this side has been blocked had to pay a thousand naira a thousand naira to the louds here to allow them turn as you can see see these card pushers they charge as much as a thousand naira to help people carry their luggages so you heard it there uh, any moment from now the 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 road will be opened now then regular vehicular movement will resume we've been here since eight o'clock this morning in the rain yeah covering the protest i think this has been a very successful protest if you ask me uh probably the, the most successful of all their protests so far since it began uh, in the last few days uh because this has affected many persons and the voices of the people protesting uh, surely must have been heard i guess uh because the fact that you can you're, you're trying to get to the airport and you are moving around the city of lagos and you are seeing a massive uh, traffic inflow with little or no violence yeah, actually there was no violence uh, no no blood flowing or anything the military officials the police themselves who have been here have been very very calm um, uh, even even creating what I would call a good Why relationship with the students. Because you are earning forty five thousand dollars, really, really and you believe everything is okay rain. for you. Oh, look at students, look at pastor lies, observing. They've been here for hours too, just seeing what is going to happen, and um, people are just moving around, recording, trying to catch a minute or two for their social media pages as well, and on and on it is still going at the moment. Okay, okay, okay. So the international okay. airport road has been opened and any moment from now the you want to leave this road will be open also oh you want to leave you have the capacity to leave you have the money to the process today has been peaceful the only dent in the protest was when oh oh the only thing in the protest was when a convoy carrying a VIP actually drove on this roundabout here and the culverts in order to make it to the international wing of the airport. I've been noted earlier in a few minutes from now, this road will be opened. A number of airlines have come out to with a notice that flight operations will be disrupted today because of the NAS protest. We spoke to a young man earlier who said he had been in the traffic for over one hour 30 minutes as at that time trying to crash the flight out of the country. We've seen a lot of people both Nigerians, foreigners, pushing their luggages down to the international airport. Managing all day. Can't afford school fees of your children. Can't afford your three square daily meal. 
You are working any salary and you are trekking home. Ah, why? 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 Nigeria, please wake up! Wake up! We are giant of Africa, but, but, but where is our position? We are in zero. There you have it. It's a complete standstill at airport roundabout here, right in front of the old domestic airport terminal. Everything is completely blocked, as you can see. Many people have had to come down from their car. Some even took a nap in the car. We saw people eating in the car. It has been generally peaceful today. Bike man operating. <laughs> you, eh? You can see the traffic. So what's happening right now is uh, pleading the security operators are attached to a VIP pipe are uh, pleading with the students to allow the convoy pass but all of a sudden they started singing solidarity songs again you know we had announced earlier that the protest Is that safe? Now is the, con the convoy has turned back and since they are going back they failed in their attempt to plead with the students to open the road for them and since the arrival of the convoy just boosted the morale of the students and all of a sudden they started singing solidarity songs again I believe the plan to reopen the road has been suspended for now. No, is it possible? No, you need to give him until our schools are open. Yes, no, you need to go to the
They use their power. Can you, can, you, can you tell us what just happened right now? Right now? Uh, this is what we call um, real protest. Because, um, assuming we are not here today, the man will just go in with his entourage, go inside, fly. Coordinator of NAS is vibrating. Yes. And we, yes. We, we are here suffering. There are children are outside there, but he has still the eat somehow. If he has influence on the government, he will also send um, his own government to government. And they will also know that we are, we are real. We mean this day. And this is not a play. This is not a video for you. Thank you very much. If you are just joining us, welcome to our live coverage of the student protest at the Lagos Airport Road. This protest has been on since as early as 8 o'clock. Despite the heavy downpour in Lagos today, the students have been on the tag. You can see arrivals uh, having no opportunity of driving past being um, guys who have turned themselves to emergency carriers here. They've been making money all day. 1,000, 2,000 per bus. Where are you going to? Where are you going to? <laughs> 6,000 to where? International Airport. You just said it for one. How many people you don't carry you today? Where are the camera? I don't know. 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 I do to be taken to the international airport wing. At, at one right point, from here, right from the domestic wing, at six thousand naira. Somebody said in the afternoon that um, they were charging between thirty k and fifty k. That is, if you are coming that from is, Maryland, exactly down here, they were going to pay as much as between thirty to fifty. Uh, but the normal price was three thousand, between three thousand and five thousand. That is, if you are coming just within, just within this axis. From and the airport roundabout to the international wing, between three and five thousand. As at two, as at one p.m., as at twelve, the motorcyclists were collecting between three thousand and five thousand. But you could see that young man get angry, uh, because he was not going to pay six thousand, which was was charged uh, to move so from here to the international now. wing. And come on, come on. I, I guess the protest is some, yeah, it's, it's some kind of gain for certain persons. You can you can see them. It has been like this all day, all day. These cars have been parked here for hours because there's no way you are going. You can't move through. I think it's the, it's the major payday for motorcycles. And the funny thing is, prior to the banning of Okada in Lagos, Okada were not, well, motorcycles were not allowed to operate along the airport route. But today, those who are determined not to miss their flights are resorting to the use of motorcycles, popularly called Okada in local parlance. I was saying earlier that um, uh, Lasma issued a statement saying that 
there's so much traffic around this route because of the NANS protest. Also, more than one air, airline um, um, issued statements issued statements saying that our flights have been delayed because of the protest. We were speaking with a particular um, person who works one of the airlines off air saying that a particular flight, uh, a particular airline that was going outside of the country I was supposed to have about 300 persons on board, but due to this protest today, they had the roughly uh, 150. 150. So it, it, it's really biting if you ask me. Um, there are positives, there are probably negatives as well. Uh, but you know, the pain of the students. More cats pushers are arriving now. Since morning, they've been charging 1,000, 2,000. The to come up carry people there you have these many people are stepping out of their cars now it's not been easy for over eight hours now the busiest airport in nigeria and i give you all of west africa has been grounded by protesting students why are they protesting seven months now public universities in Nigeria have been short seven months of no learning, no research no exams no tutorials no, test. no lectures, seven months due to the ongoing industrial action embarked upon by ASU due to the failure of the federal government to meet their demands. We are at the entrance to the new terminal of the local airport and you can see people are being forced to walk, to trek. You can see how long this... Um... What is it doing? What is it doing? Alright, um National Airport has been opened already. To watch the opening of the local and the relating to the local airports. Sorry for the brick break in transmission. What you'll be witnessing now is any moment from now, the road will be opened. Since 7 a.m. This is 4.24, more than eight hours now. No, no, no. The students have made their demands loud and clear. They want to return to the university, to their schools. They want to return to their lecture theaters. They have also demanded the immediate resignation of the Minister of Education, Adamu Adamu. 
you can see people forced to carry their luggage. Off they go now, you can see them in a convoy of cars led by the vice president of NAS and other stakeholders here and students. I, I think the new executive body are trying to make a statement uh, because since they came on board. What, what do you think about the success of today's protest? Yes, at least we got the support of um the students have said they are not going to back down, they are going to continue tomorrow, but not at this particular um, location. You can see them, they also have a very large convoy, not just in this direction, like we said earlier, in various points. Make sure you are not leaving anybody behind There you have it. The blockade is being removed. The convoy of over 30 cars. The students are making their way out. We can confirm to you that the International Airport Wing has been opened. And movement, movement, movement. The local airport wing will be completely open any moment from now. The students are taking their vehicles out of the way. It's been a very long day in the rain. Yeah, since 8 o'clock. What do you like by Punch newspaper? And there you have it, the first yeah, that, commercial ve right now, yeah. vehicle has moved now. What do you like by Punch newspaper? My name is Olua Femi Daudu, and with me is Shego Oduayo. I, I think it has been an amazing time here. I'm trying to see what is happening here. The road has been open at exactly 4.30 p.m. Nigerian time. We've been here since morning in the rain and we are living in the rain. The vehicles are going to leave now. Operation returns to normal here. And um, hopefully something will be done about it by the government. Thank you very much for being a part of this. Have a fantastic evening. Bye for now.